up my friends? This is Sammy Geek back here with another video and today I am at Best Buy and return, I'll show you guys actually, I'm literally at Best Buy right now and making a return of my Fitbit Sense. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the five reasons that I have decided to return my Fitbit Sense. There's a little bit of a caveat here guys, I do wanna say this now, if you are rocking this watch and you love it and you're enjoying it, uh, more power to you. I'm not knocking the watch because it does have a lot of uh, big benefits that are awesome. Uh, it's a pretty solid watch. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say that uh, that Fitbit does not make good watches or this watch is completely horrible. But these are the five reasons that I have decided to return this watch. Starting with number one, the Fitbit company uh, seems to be always selling me something. I've had this thing for uh, just a, uh, I've had actually the the, uh, Versa t the Versa 3 rather for a little while and then the Sense, but I feel like every time I get into the app or I open up the app, they're trying to sell me something. They're trying to sell me their premium membership um, or they're trying to sell me some sort of uh, uh, protection, damage protection for the unit and it's annoying. You've got to X out of it and I figure, okay, great. Offer it to me once, I X out of it, and I'm done. That's it, don't ever offer it again. But I've seen it no less than five or six times uh, in the app, so I'm getting tired of them always trying to sell me something. Number two, no music. Uh, you guys saw I made another video on this. Um, when I say no music, I mean no. you can't put your own music on this. So not being able to download your own music, that, uh, that's a deal breaker for a lot of people. I am uh, very disappointed to see the Versa 3 and the Sense both not have that ability today. Perhaps they'll add it one day, uh, but for uh, 330 bucks plus tax, uh, I have a watch that I can't put my own podcasts on or something to listen to. So that's a massive fail. So number three, uh, a funky heart rate. I've tested this in the gym uh, many times. I've gone through every smartwatch known to man. And for whatever reason, I've tried it uh, loose, tight, high on the wrist, low on the wrist. And for the first 15 minutes of my workout, I can't get the damn thing above 100 or 101 beats per minute. I just don't, I don't get it. And I was doing uh, jumping jacks and push-ups, and I'm trying to raise my heart rate like crazy high just to make sure uh, that I'm not losing my mind here. And uh, no, I couldn't break 101. Then all of a sudden it comes around, it feels like 20 minutes into my workout. I don't know. So I didn't run enough um, enough tests and uh, with the other four major b failures for the watch, uh, I, I just, I said enough is enough. I'm gonna go back to my Samsung for a little while. And then I just ordered the, uh, the uh, new um, Garmin watch, that Venue uh, SQ. So uh, number four. The action button. Uh, there's a little sort of haptic feedback uh, button on the side of this thing, and I wear my watches on my left wrist. Uh, I don't have gorilla arms by any stretch, you know, hairy gorilla arms, uh, but uh, every time I was pressing the button, it would pinch my arm hair. I don't know what it was. It was like, um, I, I love that it has the Alexa built in, so I was using it all the time, but every, t every damn time I pressed the button, I was like pinching my arm hair. I don't know what the, <laughs> it's like, because you got to kind of like reach in and under to press it versus just tapping the side button. So to me, you know, I probably could have gotten more used to it if over time, uh, but it's on my list. It made number four. Number five. Number five is the find my phone feature. This one probably pissed me off the most. I don't know what in the world was going on, but it continuously lost connection with the phone or something. I don't know what was going on. So I, I kept finding myself having to uh, go in and refresh the app. Uh, so basically what would happen is I would lose my phone and be falling under the couch or something and I'm pressing the button and it says uh, that it's basically not working, that you need to uh, sync with the app again. And so then I would test it so I'd finally find my phone and I would go back to the app and I would you know refresh it and sync and then I would test find my phone and of course then it would work. But the moment that I actually needed to work, it wasn't. So. Uh, it was driving me bonkers. I use Find My Phone all the time. I lose my phone all the time somewhere in the house. And uh, it is a deal breaker if the Find My Phone doesn't work. So uh, that's num that's five features. I do have a little bonus feature I'm gonna tell you guys. But again, number one, always trying to sell me something. Fitbit, 
stop selling. Once your customer buys something, let them enjoy it. Stop trying to upsell them every five seconds. No music. When I say no music, I mean I can't put my own music on. They want me to purchase Spotify or Pandora. I have to purchase Spotify or Pandora to hear music. What's the point? If you're gonna go out for a run and you have GPS, you're probably gonna leave your phone at home. You want your tunes. Number three, the funky heart rate. Number four, the funky action button that I just couldn't quite used to. I'll get used to. And then number five, find my phone. The little bonus number six is that uh, some of the extra goodies that they sold me on this Versa 3 in a sense uh, are not there. So when I mean extra goodies, I mean like, I know that the um, uh, ECG is coming out soon on this. They're launching it pr probably later this month, which is cool. But uh, the big one is the talk on the, uh, you know, for example, my Samsung watch, if I, I can take a call on the watch and I can talk like, uh, you know, Dick Tracy into the thing. So uh, this is supposed to be on this watch and I know it's coming this winter, but I don't have enough patience for that. I go through these phone, these, well, phones too, but smart watches probably every six months I'm getting a different one. So. Uh, I don't have six months to wait. I need the, the technology now. If I'm gonna pay 330 bucks to be able to talk on my watch, great, I'll do it. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Appreciate it. I do have the Garmin Venue, the new, uh, however you pronounce it or say that, uh, the new uh, SQ on the way. The reason I do, I know it's the basic uh, entry level uh, uh, Garmin, but I've had all the Garmin's and I've had the $1,000 Garmin and I think the $200, actually I got the music so it's 250 bucks, but I think that does so much. Uh, yes, you can't talk on, it doesn't have a built-in speaker, but it does so much of what the really expensive Garmin's do and the, the ecosystem is great and the app is wonderful. Hands down, it is the best fitness app, uh, fitness health tracking app out there. You can argue with me if you want, but I'm telling you that is the best hands down. So I'm excited to be um, rocking that watch soon. I'll post a review and let you guys know what I think of that. And uh, I'll probably be wearing the Garmin most of the week. And then if I want to jazz it up a little bit, I'll put the Samsung on. So thanks again for watching my video, guys. If you guys like this, please do give me a thumbs up and I'll uh, actually subscribe if you can, because I'm going to be coming with some more awesome smartwatch videos and cell phone videos and tech videos. Peace out guys. Have a great day. Bye.